Does a $40 speaker even come close to the Beats pill? Let's find this out. The $40 speaker I'm using is the Memorex Bluetooth wireless speaker. Then we'll just be comparing it to the Beats pill. One thing I have to throw in right away is the box of the Beats pill looks so much better than the Memorex speaker's box. So we'll start with the Memorex speaker and then we'll move on to the Beats pill. So the Memorex speaker has wireless Bluetooth, a rechargeable battery, full stereo sound, and audio line in. And yes, I'm reading exactly how it is on the box. So on the top is the blue LED indicator, the volume down, power, and the volume up button. And moving on to the back is the line in, a random blob of plastic, and a micro USB port. There's nothing else really important on this speaker, and there's nothing on the sides. It's kind of boring. But it looks pretty good for $40, so let's check out the Beats pill. Beats obviously spent a lot more time designing the pill than Memorex did with their speaker. Well, it's a big price difference, so I understand. So the details on the box for the Beats are pretty similar to the Memorex. We have wireless Bluetooth, built-in microphone, that's different, charge out, Beats Bond, that's a tap and then we'll amplify this to stereo, 7 hours battery life, which is rechargeable, and a carrying case. On the top, you'll find the volume up button, the volume down button, and the B button, which is what the Beats site says. Put that up on the screen. If you want to pause that, go ahead, because if I were to read off all the commands that the button does, I'd, we'd be here forever. So pause that if you want to watch, read this, and then um, I'll put a link in the description for the site, too, so you can go back and look at them. On to the back. There is an audio out so, and an audio in. Those are for pairing it to other Beats pills and daisy-chaining them. That's pretty cool. There's a power button, a uh, Bluetooth indicator light, and um, your micro USB port with an LED around it, which will tell you whether it's charged or turned on and stuff like that. So when you turn it on, it makes this really cool sound. <laughs> And the same when you turn it off. The Beats pill looks really cool. I and mean, it looks about the same as the Memory X, but it's got more color to it. Like that red and the black. I like the theme, and it makes it look really awesome. Now, it wouldn't be a true test without audio, so we should probably do that. Let's listen in. Listen. To pair, you just hold the power button in for about three seconds, and then we'll start enter it into the pairing mode, and then you pair it on your phone. And for the beats, you just hold in the beat symbol for about five seconds. The beats is definitely a higher quality product, but the Memory X did really well. The beats sounds a little bit better than the Memory X, and the Memory X is kind of made out of a cheaper plastic, and the Beats is, has like a rubbery feel to it. So, I mean, it depends if you really want to spend the money. I'd go with the Beats. But if not, then I'd stick with the Memory X. It has, there's, I have no problem with it. Sounds perfectly fine for the price. Um, but the Beats is definitely the better product, but much more expensive. So, that's all with this video. Thank you for watching. Please, 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 please subscribe. We got about 56, I think, 55. Let's uh, keep that up. Keep going. See you later.